Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. Welcome back, everyone. It's Merta here. I'm gonna try and see if I can paint maybe five more different looking Christmas tree. I hope you will join me. Ten different Christmas trees, not only different from each other, but also different from my previous videos, which is super challenging. Let's paint, let's paint. I have this huge brush for a change. I'm gonna be trying out and using this big, 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 big brush that I haven't ever tried and played before. Now, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, I think. How can you make, actually, a different sort of Christmas tree to what you already have done? Well, I'm gonna try it out. I'll see if we can actually do it, if it's doable, somehow differentiate our Christmas tree to what we already have done. Do you know what? For some reason, <laughs> it feels very strange. With this huge brush, I'm gonna switch to the smaller one. Yes, I think that's far better. So, um, don't be precise. Please, 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 trust me. Trust the process. Don't be too precise about these things. It's all really good if you just enjoy the painting naturally as it happens. Go with the flow, see how things are. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I invite you to check them out. I think there are such a cute little ideas out there on my other videos, so please check them out. So this time we will be doing Christmas trees only. I always wanted to make this video and I have done, but I don't think these represent my idea of Christmas trees that I had in mind in vision in the first place. I love this video. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Super cute and easy, especially for kids. And it was like a great actually start up. It was a great warm up. But I think it's time to speed up the game to just jumping in and do something a little bit more. Maybe creative, maybe just a little different. And here I am. I'm adding different shades uh, to my actually Christmas tree. I'm gonna turn it around and hopefully, <laughs> this is probably not very, not very much how it's supposed to be. You probably don't turn your painting around, isn't it? But oh well. <clears throat> I'm learning watercolors, just as you are probably. <laughs> we are doing it together. And because there is no one in the house yet, I am so happy I can continue with painting. I've done one painting today, already one video, and I'm super excited that I can paint one more before the gang will be back home. I think Lucas heard me saying that I wish to record one more video, and he probably took girls for quick by bread kind of idea. <laughs> so look, it's super cute, super pretty as it is, and I'm looking at my other cards. We do have something quite similar in a way, but mm, let's wait and see. <laughs> let's wait and see. We can have uh, something similar because it's all Christmas trees, but they are going to be hopefully each of them is going to be super, super different. So we have a third layer. Woohoo! I like that actually. I love this third layer now. The third layer is jumping in, and we can have this beautiful feel for. Um, for a bigish kind of regular looking Christmas tree in a way, I guess. I'm jumping with paints and water, paints and water, cleaning off and all. So please. Um, follow up your instinct, guys. You can paint. If you never painted in your life and you have just grabbed the paints now, awesome, awesome, <laughs> just do it. Look, I'm cleaning off a bit of an excess. You don't see that because, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have this one so you can see that I'm cleaning off the excess of the water and and color, and I just wish to have a little bit of a play game here with the pigment and water and just have a little bit of a fun. Um, if you never tried watercolors and you think you can't paint, you should definitely follow up my tutorials. They are very easy, like. Okay, so this is what we have. I think we kind of, oh, do you know what? No, I'm gonna turn this around as well and have a tiny play and touch in here. To make it a little darker on this end as well and there we go i think everyone can be a watercolor artist as long as they just wish to paint i love this one it's super cute and i have the idea actually how to finish this one um yeah i do actually have an idea let me try this 
my Christmas tree is dry, I think we can do a little bit of doodles now. And my idea was to actually have like few of the, <laughs> these kind of as if this as if those are elements that they hang. How cute is that? And I also wish to have a little bit of a little bit of doodles here happening. I'm using watercolors from Arteza. These are gouaches. They come in tubes and I just squeeze them to this those tiny containers. Oh, I love this. I just wonder do, does it look like a Christmas tree? But I still it does look like a Christmas tree. And you know what? I love how different it becomes. Now because I'm going on top of paints, obviously my 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 marker it's kind of starting to be unhappy, but it's going back once you start uh, doodling on the cleaner space where the paints are not there. <laughs> so there we go. And I'd, I'm also using these are from Artiza. Let me show you the new thing that I just received. It's a set of acrylic markers, white and black. So if you haven't get your hands on them yet you will love it. I think it's, I always have been recommending you these Arteza um, uh, pens, 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 they're still great, but I love the thicker, uh, thicker brush here, thicker, and I can just be more, I guess it's more visible, and I just prefer that. And um, yet again, as I said, it's because I'm going on the wet surface, it's kind of starting to be like, no, don't, don't, don't. Okay. I think I love it and I'm not gonna make any leggies here I think it's cute as it is I just absolutely adore it but I'm just thinking instead of bubbles being so super like regular how about trying to do a little bit of um, a little bit of I definitely need a piece of paper to kind of clean out because it works perfect except when I start <laughs> going on the wet surface of my paints because they dry but not very very much not fully dry okay let's see a third one as well here I love how different this Christmas tree is turning out it is different to come on it is different to what uh, I'm gonna leave this one and I take a new one because maybe it will take a little moment to kind of go back Um I love how different it's turning out and it is just there we go uh, I cert we certainly need this. So you shake it and you press it and the pigment goes down. Uh, I like how different it is because um, I'm, I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to have... There we go. I'm trying to have the... Oh, it's very wet this one. Oh, I guess I just have been too not too too careful with the other one. I, I'm trying to say that I just love how different it is and trying to come up with unconventional looking Christmas tree is just fantastic. So here it is. Um, we could probably go as well with the white already. Um, let's see if we can have... I'm gonna shake this even better. And how about trying to make like like little girland in here oh do you know what I still feel we're gonna be needing red anyway I think there is something about green and red when you paint certain things when you paint like you just wish for the black uh, for the red anyway so I think I'm gonna be back to red in a minute anyway it is cute and I love it but I think we're gonna be needing an accent of red for definite but it looks super cute. I love the very much modern style of this tree. <laughs> it looks really different. And I'm going to just grab the regular red paint, my regular gouaches, and just jumping in with... I just wonder, will I do it irregular or will I do it like... I think I'm going to just do irregular, just like that. Just like, you know, like, there we go something like this I think am I recording I am Phew, that's good Phew, phew, phew. Um, yes red is always adding this special touch isn't it it does it really does I'm having a generous amount of paints on my bristles right now on the brush so that it is very much red on top of the green as well it helps if you like load a lot of water and just mix it up and it's like a now nice smooshy kind of feel to our paint so here it is 
Now, Arteza also have tons of beautiful supplies for kids. Check them out if you wish for some kids' ideas for gifts. Fantastic, beautiful, like tons, especially in the USA website. Tons of it, so check it out. I may get something for Hannah, for sure. Wow, I love it! So cute! So cute, actually. So cute. I have red here, so I may rinse that. I still wish for some splashes, I think. I think I'm gonna do some splashes, but you know what else came to my mind just now? I'm thinking it would be so cute if we could have some yellow stars in terms of yellow, very much yellow, yellow. Um, or how about a little bit of gold? I have some gold markers here. Um, mm, is this, we definitely need more. Actually, I have gold paint, so maybe instead of marker. Let's see. Oh, that's so cute as well because it's instant with the markers it's great it's instant and it's like there at the second the moment you ask for it it's there like you know so markers in general I love all sorts of markers oh so cute I think it's it's lovely it's adding up a little bit but I still would suggest to maybe have um how about a touch of oops a touch of um, like I have these silver kind of why not silver and gold who said you can't how about these this is like a 3d uh, kind of thing where you can just decorate your cards or whichever you like and um, these are from Nuvo let me show you them in a second these are Nuvo but you can get them in similar things in Little Birdie have their own liquid pearls kind of oh this is so cute like I mean seriously this is like a little pearly drops kind of 3D issue look at it it's so cute I still will add a star on top definitely we need some star on top so I'm gonna get some tiny some tiny whoops, star on top and it's gonna be super cute oh I love it okay well then if it's so very high there I may actually add a tiny tiny brown at the bottom like a tiny tiny brown like a tiny brown there we go just just like a little, just like a little touch only, really. Ah, this one is the one that didn't want to write. Am I right? Yes. There we go. Super cute. And if this would be dry, I would outline it. But anyway, I think our Christmas tree is super ready. So I'm going to move on to Christmas tree number two. Let's go back to painting in greenishy kind of color, greenery or bluey or whichever. <laughs> We're gonna mix it all up. I have been thinking about slightly different sort of like this. I remember when I was in school, we used to paint like that. Like this would be a way of painting a Christmas tree, isn't it? How many of you have done it? I remember doing it in school I do ah, remember that doing this in school indeed <laughs> not enough paint on my brush there we go Marta jumping in there we go that is so cute I mean I love that <laughs> oh wow so nice, so nice, super little, super tree. I may redo some branches, branches, I'm not even sure if I should call them branches, but that is so cute, like, imagine red bubbles going on top of these, it's gonna be awesome, oh, I love it. <laughs> so fun, so different, yes, well, definitely different. We need some different color as well of blue there going and wow I love that. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and get back to you. 
Okay, so I have my my tree dry and I think we can either outline it or I think I'm gonna just gently outline it because I just love it. So I'm gonna just add it up with my actual black and being very much like go, go with the flow kind of idea and and just when I thought that I have time to keep on recording, I think not really. <laughs> Um, if you heard a little voice that came, oh, she just left. <laughs> Maybe she she realized I'm recording. Is that possible? She realized that because she's still small, but she does understand. I have said that to her a few times that you know sometimes mommy is recording and you can't be, uh, you know, like being very loud and maybe sometimes if you're watching telly to turn it down because this and that now this is super cute look the red one it's like wow it's adding this super cute touch to it hi oh I, I hear the little Toto see maybe she'll come or maybe daddy is gonna take her upstairs no Hannah <laughs> hi! Hi, baby! Hi, how was school? You haven't... You, you said you have a surprise. Okay, I'm gonna have something for you. Wait, I'm gonna give you a surprise hug to begin with. Jump over my painting. Let's give a hug. Hi! Let me pause the video. Two seconds. Look what I have. So too. It's very quirky looking, very strange, isn't it? Is it fun? Yeah, mom. Yeah. Let me let me pause the video. I'll be back. Back to you. It's evening time. Hannah is upstairs, so we can continue with our Christmas trees ideas. Now, these are the two, and uh, the actual pearls are dry. So idea number three. Actually, I have no idea <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I think I'm just gonna maybe go for like the regular, ordinary sort of looking tree, kind of, I don't know. Let's see, let's see what will happen. Let's see what will happen. I, uh, I'm gonna leave it for like, oh, there's two cards. I'm gonna leave it for like, um, yeah, let's just, oh, I think I hear Emily, two seconds. Hi. Oh, I love your setup. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Do you need my help? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Mm, back to you. <laughs> Emily needed my hand tiny bit. Oh, the squeaking floor, like, <laughs> unbelievable. So now we're gonna do something that we've seen online, all of us. It's like this one line going like this. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I think we need kind of enough, a lot, like um, enough of color of pigment going on so that it's gonna like happen. So let's try. So I'm gonna just like, there we go, go like, eh. okay, we need more. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need a tiny bit more Emily's tidy up sister's toys because Emily's kind of job usually is oh, is to, I, I went a little bit on the side but that's okay, usually is to help out and tidy up Hannah's toys if Hannah didn't didn't do it yet. Usually she does and she would much more prefer having Emily doing it and Emily is the best older sister ever. And she really, she really does a lot of times and also what she does, which is great and amazing, she also oftentimes set up a new, like a new house for the toys and things. So sometimes in the morning Hannah comes in and there is this lovely setup with the new dolls and new furniture and Emily changes things. And she even did for Halloween, she did her um, Halloween setup with the Halloween kind of... Uh, banners and stuff so she was really great with it now we have this kind of looking funny Christmas tree I like it I think it's not that easy to actually go with this sort of um, line ish kind of idea to not I don't, it's not that easy it, it feels easy when you see it down I think but I've never done it before so it's not that easy as, as I thought it's a bit cricket on the side but you know what that's okay I don't mind that I'm gonna dry this and be back to you within seconds mm, back to you and I'm not gonna tell you what Emily said what what she thinks when she 
<laughs> when she saw it. She said, oh, that looks like a... Hmm. I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks, Emily. <laughs> Good night, by the way. Um, let's go a little bit. Uh, I love that. Oh, that is so cute, like, so cute. Super cute, okay. Um, how about, indeed, adding some... Mmm, this is lovely. This is a lovely gold sparkle, which I think could be so beautiful and very much elegant. Although this tree isn't the most elegant one, I think, isn't it? Just a tiny, funky one, I think, which is great as well. So how about making it a little bit more elegant, maybe with this little dots here. I love that. Now one thing I would change now, if I could, is that hmm, it's not really... Whoa, Ginny Macaroni! Maybe that's because it's a little bit older one. Maybe that's why it doesn't want to come off. Anyway, it worked here. Um. I don't know what I wanted to say. Oh yeah, I would change one thing. I would kind of add a little bit of... I'm going to add red one so that we know it's a Christmas tree because it doesn't maybe necessarily look like a Christmas tree for some. So let's add a little bit of a red. But I would change and differentiate with the colors because I haven't done that. So I would actually... I would actually uh, do it a little bit lighter. It's slightly too dark for my liking. But you know what? In this particular exercise that we have here, I'm more concentrating on figuring out what sort of design of a Christmas tree we can do different to previous one, so that I'm not really that focused on the coloring as per se. I should, but I, I'm not. <laughs> but that's okay as well. Okay, that is, this is super cute. The only thing is that it is cricket on the side, but you know what? That's okay. I'm going to leave this one. Um, yeah, I think I prefer the other two. Let me just show you. But at least we have an option. Uh, like, you know, it's different. So let's uh, grab another card and we do design number four. With the card number four, I think I somehow would like to just go with the just a regular sort of feel for a Christmas tree. So a regular sort of, um, there's my paint, my green painter here. <laughs> a little bit of like normal looking Christmas tree, let's call it this way. So I would like just kind of probably maybe start from the bottom that kind of way and just go with a little bit of those. Oh, that's so cute actually. So this kind of, those kind of lines that I would jump in with and flick of the, um, flick of my brush, like flick, 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 that kind of, that kind of way. I have a very interesting mixture of colors here. And I would maybe go with the second layer, like here, something like that. Now they can touch each other, those lines, those layers, but they don't really have to. So I guess whatever works best for your liking, however you like it, however it feels right to you. Let's see, let's see another layer. That could be it. Then we could have this layer and then we could have layer like here, that kind of way. Oh, it's very bright. I hope it's not too bright for your liking. The, the the video. Wow, I like that. I really like that. And yet again, I think it's very much different to what we so far have painted in the past videos, which is great to do something uh, different and trying to really provide as many examples of Christmas tree as possible so you may find something super special. For yourself. Oh, I love that actually. I really, really love that. And I think I'm going to jump in with just a touch of brown. Just a touch of brown. Um, yeah, I think so. And I'm going to grab, there is this kind of creamy, you probably, I could probably have this one here so you can see that I'm touching some other colors as well. <coughs> so, something like this maybe. Oh, this is so cute. 
This is actually so very cute, very natural looking, very good looking. Now I'm gonna go with a smaller brush, hopefully, and maybe jump in with like a little even darker green or something. Let's see. Let's see, making like a tinier, tinier. Uh, oh, that's nice actually. I think that's very nice. I have a jumper that is green. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm inspired. Um, if you're not looking and only listening to me, here is my jumper. <laughs> kind of similar color, isn't it? So with the flick of motion of your brush and your hand, there we go. Let's just have tiny touches of different color and all. I love that. No. There we go, and more. I love that we started with the brightest color. I think that's how people, when you do like a, uh, when you do like a proper um, watercolor painting, let's say face portrait, you start with the brighter um, surface kind of thing, and then you go back with the darker and all. I think that's how you do it. Mm. There we go. Oh, I love that. We do need tiny bit of, well, do we need, I think we may need, tiny bit of our, of red bubbles, of course. Um, actually, we may, we may make red and maybe blue as well. How about blue and red and colorful and let's see. So I'm going to grab some red first. Uh -huh. And paint some reds. Oh, I love it. Very pretty, very cute, I have to say. I have to say, super pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, I already saw uh, some of you painting last year's videos as well, with, like tagging me within your posts from last year videos, and also the paper star today. Uh, in the evening, I was sitting and looking on my Instagram, and so many of you have tagged me. I'm glad you're liking it. I, I think sometimes when I make this very simple videos, simple designs, ideas, I I have doubts that it's too easy, that it's too childish, that it's too, you know, like, come on, Marta, <laughs> it's like, it's for kids. Uh, but then I really don't, I, I, I don't mind that because I really like when it's this simple sometimes um, because I think we have maybe small kids around, maybe we have people that never ever 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 done any crafts and maybe it's a great idea to encourage them this way. I'm gonna add the blue one as well which is very pretty. Very much pretty. So let's have this gorgeous blue. Oh super pretty. Now I love that. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if we will be making any um, outlines here. Possibly. Possibly more, even more. Oh, I love it. I usually have this trouble of where to place those bubbles to make it kind of, I don't know, even for the eye. <laughs> I always have this trouble. Where, where to put it, where to put it, and I'm usually trying to just, just, just go for it, just smart, just anywhere will do. <laughs> anywhere will do literally it's super cute wow I'm gonna change the battery like in a second because it is flashing flashing and uh, we have this gold let's try this gold this smooshy smooshy gold oh I love that maybe we can have like little delicate oh I love it wow Arteza gold wow let's have this like as if the gold gold kind of um, them things going around oh this is so cute now seriously Marta why didn't you why didn't you think about this sort of earlier oh how cute and very easy as well to do oh very nice this gold actually are we recording still there flashing flashing to stop but we're still there up and running I'm gonna change the battery after just this one and you know what instead of star I'm gonna make this 
cute little oh I love this wow and you know what I'm thinking that I'm gonna just grab some I'm just thinking oh maybe not actually I wanted the splashes I I did but they, not, they didn't go <laughs> maybe better so we have this one I think I'm gonna outline it since I have outlined the other uh, I just go, I'm just gonna leave it for dry and get back to you when it's dry but it's changed and I'm chit chatter and if you're new to this channel you either love it and you or will you will just say Marta cut that crappy chat and just move on so it's a 50 50 you may love it love me for it uh, like a lot of people here love my chats and the fact that my videos are are long and chatty or you just will think like she is like ridiculously wrong it's like it's a tutorial I don't want to know about your life I don't want to know about your child being upstairs sleeping but hey this is me Marta my name is Marta nice to meet you I'm glad that you're here and actually you may let me know where you're from watching this video and are you new to the channel or maybe not but especially if you're new to the channel say hi please look I'm asking say hi to the channel to all of these people that are watching this video and other videos so we can know each other well better and we can just say, say hi to each other and maybe reply to each other comments so where are you from how long are you here on the channel maybe you're super new okay I'll see you in a second back to you let me do a little bit of doodles and you know I just realized that in the other cards I haven't done any um, white actually outline which I think it would be lovely to still do so I may go back and do so so I'm gonna grab some of this I'm I'm really delicate loosen up with my doodles here lose your hand relax just there we go just go with the flow as it is and I'm also gonna do the same thing with my my watch is <laughs> my watch is like tick 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 to those bo to this box so that's what I'm thinking to do a little bit of outlining there we go oh it's so cute so cute so cute so cute and I think it would be just as amazing to grab white and have not only white or maybe I'm gonna outline here as well the bigger one not only to have the white here outlined but maybe oh I love that maybe also going a little bit here and maybe do a little bit how about some stars maybe that would be nice or we could do like okay you can't see everywhere but still you can do some are we recording we are <laughs> we are that's good so you can still do a little bit of maybe this like you maybe don't see from far in the camera maybe camera does not pick it up because it's quite far and yeah but that's okay like whoever will receive the card will see that there are some extra dots and I was thinking how about a little bit of like little look little stars like this sort how nice is this? Mm -hmm. There we go. That's so awesome. Oh, I love that. Now, oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to get back to this one as well because I think that we can definitely have a little bit of, maybe here we can have the, oh, there we go. Um, I think the cute star I'm gonna show it like you can do the actual like like this right but if you're gonna d divide that one two three four it's gonna be far better effect because the the like don't make the cross you know like make this like one two three four one two three four because the ends are much deli more delicate and they just look more like a star I'd say well at least in my eyes that's how I see it obviously if you're gonna uh, make it not th your way that's perfectly fine I'm just hoping to give you some little tips how I see it now I also think that we could definitely either maybe do like some a little bit of lines going on like them kind of thing oh this is so very cute 
this is so very cute something like that and that's far better isn't it I think so I really think so and I just wonder should we have something on the top and also how about and now this is dry so how about doing a little bit of this sort of oh definitely definitely so much better outlining that and maybe as well outlining those red bubbles like you don't have to outline it it's just I just feel for it like you know not maybe all of them but some of them just to have it a little bit of something different there we go uh, just a little bit more kind of visual I vis, vi, um, vi, uh, you know what I mean <laughs> I hope you know what I mean and you know what maybe I'm just gonna doodle the simple style how many arms has this one that's okay look and that's the um, oh, we can still have this one although this is still super 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 wet so certainly we need to try to avoid any of the but you know what I'm thinking that we could have like little dots as well going on maybe like this sort something like that something a little different maybe oh this is so cute there we go there we go this looks like a little snake certainly it's kind of very fun looking and it may not look too had <laughs> to a uh, Christmassy for some of you that's okay I just thought to give it a go give it a try maybe it looks a little bit too pres precise kind of going but anyway we have one two three and four we have four cards right now and I think it's time to move on to card number five I think I really think we should do one Mm, one Christmas tree with just a triangle we have done that before but I just think it's such a lovely such a lovely idea that it would be so good I should probably clean that you, you should put your tape firstly on the piece of fabric and then on the and then on the on the card so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fix that right away because then it's gonna be far more difficult for you to take it off so let's see if we are in the camera we are okay now so let's say something like this let's say no we need to Marta we need to be a little bit more lower with it because yeah because we need to be a little bit more lower okay this could be it and then the last bit on the bottom there we go something something like that do you know what I just think it's a tiny bit too high like a tiny bit too high ah, ah. <laughs> tiny bit oh maybe like this and then we can have it yeah there we go I'm happier with that now there we go okay so what are we gonna do? Woohoo! That's so exciting. I think we're gonna be doing um, watercolors. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna just jump in with watercolor lines and see where are we going with it. You know, let's just go with these greens and just mix them all up and just let's see how the color flow and all will be going. And that's it. You know. That's that's what I'm thinking that we could do a little bit of that in here. Maybe a little bit more water or something. Probably this time I could use that huge brush that I'm sort of afraid of. <laughs> sort of afraid of. That's a good one. So I'm going to just get some water happening here. I'm using just a masking tape. This is just a tape. Um it's like a masking tape from hardware store sort of place okay wow <laughs> that is so nice so exciting there we go different different shades and all super nice I love that let's go from here as well let's see what's going on how about a touch of that blue sure why not yes 
too bright but that's okay I'm gonna grab now a bit of a darker feel and I'm gonna just go with the here on the edges a little bit of a play to see what's going on and I'm thinking that we could actually do a little bit of play with um, blue careful a little bit play off with the um, um, oh I think the paint went under <laughs> under there that's okay a little play with uh, what I wanted to say with the drying technique you know we can dry and like move the pigment which could be quite exciting I think so let's have a look let's try that we can have a little bit of a even purple going on or something I don't know like why not let's let's see <laughs> that's definitely exciting very much now wow I love that I love that let's see let's grab a um, Yes, let's grab our heating tool and heat it up quite, 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 uh, quite, uh, quite near. Oh wow! You know what you could do as well? We could like grab a tissue and we can just do like them kind of things where you get out a bit of pigment and just create this sort of you know like this kind of look or take a wet tissue as well and just have you know with the wet tissue that could be nice too okay do you know what it looks to my liking that it's dry so let's see oh that's so cute Hannah would say that's so cute mama <laughs> and it is okay I have to say the pigment went underneath it a little bit that's okay I'm okay with that oh that's fine but it is cute I mean seriously it is super cute and very pretty and you know what actually you could make few of these I'm gonna draw this a bit more because we need some doodles or something on top of that that could be super nice and I have an idea for another Christmas tree so let's have that what can we do here there's so much we can do actually isn't it um, probably bubbles seems to be the obvious one but how about a little bit of a different different I don't know a little bit of different I'm gonna firstly do a little bit of outline same way as we would do with the rest of them awesome and how about a little bit of this there we go also how about a star why not how many arms has a star because mine are like really wrong <laughs> that's okay I, I really don't mind I really like it's fine I think we could do like some bit of I've done something similar previously I think oh that's so lovely I've done something like this previously let me just fix my pen um, and it was super awesome super super awesome let's just get that white as well here and we could have we could have some white going on I've done that, whoopsie, that went on the black one. <laughs> wow, how even that was. I'm gonna grab black one and just go over it. That's okay. Um, let me just fix that again. Mm, how about adding something like this? Oh, that is so nice. That is actually so nice. And definitely a little bit of red, of course, like to every card. Oopsie, that a lot of pigment red. But this time, instead of bubbles going very much, this kind of like we, we, we may just go for the 
Is this dry? It is. We may just go for this sort of look, like a stamp making with the red. And no, we're not going to be too much thinking, we're just going for it. Bigger, smaller, however it is. So when you're trying to make these designs, like relax your hand. Don't stress that one bubble-ish kind of thing is bigger than other. It's okay. It's okay, you know. I think the less you think and you're just going, you can do it. You really can do it. Uh, the less you overthink, it's just so much better. So grab your brush. Look, just grab the paint and go for it. You can see that the ideas are there, super simple. I mean, seriously, you don't need any sort of skill except having a willingness to try it with me or without me, whoever you find on YouTube, inspirational to try it out. Do it, do it, do it with someone, especially. Oh, I love this, especially if you feel like, yeah, that would be nice to just try it out. Wow, I love that. I'm thinking, I'm so tempted with this color, I don't know why, but I just, and I know it's very much not a uh, Christmassy, but I just wish for this color to go, oh my goshy, this is stunning, and this color, I've never used before, but I always want, <laughs> I wanted it, and you know what, the Christmas tree is so pretty now, oh my! I love it. I mean it. This one is from the Little Bird. They try them out. they gorgeous liquid pearls. I have the pink one as well here and I have the <laughs> blue one. But I just felt instantly, look, adding green on green. How spectacular that is. Ignore my six arms star. It's okay. And you know what? People without making mistakes wouldn't be just as fun so yes this star has seven wings seven arms and this one has six i know it should be fine five isn't it oh well that's okay um yeah super pretty let's leave it to dry and we have five designs i wonder can we do one more or shall we just leave it call it done um, and maybe create another video so you can have a different videos possibly this is what i may do Nah, let's do one more. <laughs> let's do one more. Definitely, let's try it out. I think I have this sort of feeling for one particular design. It's like this kind of... Um, let me show you what I'm thinking. I have been thinking about making this sort of one, two and three kind of. And there we go. I should probably clean up my brush and my my water kind of holder, isn't it? So I'm thinking this and then grab another color and do similar thing and just like have one, two and three but a bit smaller maybe, tiny bit smaller. How cute is that now? It is super cute. There we go. Leave your hand free, just enjoy the process, relax your muscles and just go for it. There we go. And then two. This one is going to be having two, two. And I hope you can see that we have different shades as well of the colors. So all these kind of are, you know, looking slightly different to each other. I'm going to make this one maybe even kind of bigger-ish so that we have definitely um, a different sort of layer. Super pretty. Oh, I love that. I love that, love that, love that. And we can have one more, which is only the one kind of loop. Loop? Is that even a word? <laughs> oh, this is so cute, like. I mean, seriously, it is very nice. Oh, too much water, that's okay. I can actually do same thing here. Clean up all this axis of the paint and just have this lovely looking... Oh, look at it. That's a lovely trick, isn't it? Oh, and we're creating this feel for empty, clean space in here. There we go. And getting that pain, uh, water away. Oh, this is gorgeousness. Wow. I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, a little touch of brownie she kind of here and making stem, not stem, you know what I mean. <laughs> there we go, there we go, wow, so pretty. Let's dry that. Back to you, it's dry, 
let's do a little bit of outlining doodles and all so here it is it's like this looks a little bit like I love it I love I love it, love it so much. It's gonna be my new favorite of the season. This looks a little bit like um, a little bit like um, oh, clouds. Can you see that? I I I like see it as a cloud, definitely. Mhm. Mm oh, this is so cute. Is this the one that wasn't working, or have I killed another another one? Going over um, with the. I think that could be the one that just does not want to work anymore. No, both of them. Well, that didn't last too long. I just have to definitely keep an eye on making sure that everything is dry. But certainly going on the... There we go. Going on the chalky surface does not help whatsoever. But I have another one here, a different black. Maybe this will jump, jump in to the rescue a bit. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. It's going to be my new favorite of the season. I just love it so much. Super, super pretty. Now, I am tempted completely, totally to do this color as well uh, because I just love it. Um, I'm thinking to maybe this time go where... It looks like a little snow there in between, isn't it? The white snow. I love it. I'm thinking to do some some kind of tiny with the drawing kind of tiny um, red bubbles like them, them. so each kind of um, each kind of tree has its own mediums being used sometimes paint sometimes um, marker sometimes whatever it just works best at the moment and I'm thinking to go back with this one and have some touches that's in the middle. I love this color so much. This color, if any of you is wondering, it's called Pearl Drops 3D Little Birdie Color called Teal Cabana. Teal Cabana. There is a coupon code to Little Birdie in the description box if you fancy getting one. Please, please do. And link will be below if I'll find it. <laughs> this is the cutest, sweetest I ever seen and done so far so I love it uh, totally my totally my cup of tea I mean seriously and I'm gonna add some white as well like very much unprecisely just to have some kind of lightness going on maybe I'm gonna add a touch of these things here as well there we go oh, I love it this is so cute. I'm gonna repeat this in a different sort of shade, shape, shade, shape. Let's let's do something similar, not the same, but similar. I don't know how similar, but I just love it. I mean, it is so cute. It is so cute. I'm gonna just probably do the same thing. I'll tell you what I mean. I'm gonna do the same thing with the kind of one sort of layer feel. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you because it's just too cute. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing like here but not the same if you know what I mean I'm gonna try to make it a little bit different let's see let's see mm -hmm. and we will have oh. it's like one piece sort of um, I love it I'm just so always excited about my my paintings, what we do here together. I just love coming back here and just saying, hi, look what we've done, look what we can do, look how exciting it is, look, try it out, try it out, we have to try it out. I think it's so awesome if we can actually inspire each other so much that you're just grabbing the paints, you're just starting it out and you're just like, yeah, go for it, let's go for it, Let, yeah, there we go. So I hope you feel the same because I do truly feel this. Um, share you know share your projects with me i would love to hear from you and see your projects you already have shared some on the instagram which is amazing and don't forget to join my facebook group so many amazing talents out there beautiful community spirit that we support each other there's so many of you there so many of us there it's like 20,000 people already which is huge i think 
Oh, I love it. I just feel the tiny bit that this could be slightly bigger here. There we go. I love it so much. I mean, seriously, it's so cute. So it's kind of similar to one, the other one, but not the, exactly and the same, but it's slightly similar. I just, I just think it's super awesome. So let's just continue. Let's go with the flow. If it feels good, let's just, we can always repeat something and it's fine. You don't have to, you know, small changes sometimes makes an awful difference in the project. Let's try that. Back to you. I have been trying to rescue my pens and they do work. Okay, this one is back. So let's do a little bit of doodles. Uh, I just had to shake it because Marta is such a silly goose that I forgot to shake it. So you will see it. And I hope you can see it that at the end of the day, yes, these are Christmas trees, but they are different to each other from each other, which is which is the exact what I really wanted to have happening here. <laughs> Maybe we can do like a little feel for the... Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, what can we do now? I'm just trying to think of a different idea. So we could add these things, for example. Why not? Let's try. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of gluing down. It's going to be interesting. Let's have this one. It's like this tiny glue, a transparent tiny glue. But I hope it's going to just adhere all these beautiful sequins. Sequins? Sequins. Okay. Now. Okay, there we go. Probably <laughs> I could just drop it down like that as well and this would adhere in places there we go not everywhere but it's uh, in some places it will there we go mm, I have this tool but all of my tools are like um, they just <laughs> I'm using them constantly to other reasons so they're not like Oh, there we go. They don't hold that well. But there's a trick. You can just dip it in your sequin in the tiny bit in the glue and just <laughs> try to lift it up with the with the wet sort of end and glue it down. Look how simple that is now. There we go. Oh, I love that. Let me just grab some more of these. I've done a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, um, oh, I love it, a lot of tiny dots to cover them all up. It will take ages, but I hope you're not rushing anywhere. Come on. I hope you are here to have a good time with me, chit-chatting. There we go. I love it. I wonder if I managed to edit one of those videos tonight and add it so that everyone can have these super soon so that if anyone is really hoping to make some for Christmas oops, and send it over on time post it like and uh, that it's gonna happen so hopefully I can try to squeeze time out and from the evening and edit one of these videos at least one uh, well, definitely one and upload it right away. Hopefully it's possible time-wise. I think it's so pretty. So cute. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, possibly, um, because I have so many dots, that maybe some of them won't glue it down because they already dry out. But I can fix them tomorrow. Do you know what? I think I'm, I I kind of done them all. Wow. Okay. I love this one so much. Super pretty. So different as well. And you know what? I kind of somehow missing the top part. So what I would do now is I would grab that gold and maybe do a gold star like like you know this sort. It's not as gold, but I like that because not as gold as these things, but I like that. I think I was missing something on top, regardless of 
Yeah, definitely. I think it's nice now. Mm -hmm. And we could, you know what we could do? We could grab uh, the, car, the paint here, the glue. There we go. And we can add one more glitter here on top. And that's so cute. And wow, another card ready and done. Look, they are different, am I right? Look, these three are very alike, but they are different. So that's the small differences that you can really experiment and try it out. Long stem, short stem, um, more square, more kind of bubbly. You know, you can really, really, really try it out and see what's working best for you. I'm gonna have a think if I have one more idea to squeeze in this video. I think I have at least one more idea. Let me show you what I'm thinking. I'm using the big brush now. And I'm grabbing all sorts of <laughs> green colors. Um, all these ASMR noises. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna load my brush like really well. Really, 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 really well. There we go. Maybe tiny of this. And I'm gonna just go um, and have like this sort of play. Um, obviously, you need a like pretty big-ish brush to help it out. Oh. oh, I did it! I need one more. <laughs> I need one more so that this looks. Oh, there we go. So this looks a little bit as like kind of bigger. Let me just repeat these. I love it! Look how simple that was! I mean if this wasn't the easiest, <laughs> fastest Christmas tree then I don't know what is it. I'm gonna paint the stem. I should change the water. Look at my <laughs> super green water. Um, do you know what? I hope you're gonna hear the excitement in my head, uh, in my voice. I'm really happy. Do you know Hannah was at home for the last three weeks and I was like it's not gonna happen Lucas I'm not gonna make all these videos that I've planned and all it's just not happening and I was you know a bit upset I have to say like I know everyone is waiting I'm waiting I'm super excited about it and all and it was just not happening so you know I'm very happy that it is happening eventually let me try this and I'll be back to you here I am here I am let's outline let's doodle this out <laughs> which pen I'm using there we go um, I just came with another idea that I'm thinking to do now uh, using this opportunity of this huge brush actually so I have one more idea that we're gonna try it out so that would be the nine idea so I'm thinking now like I actually think it would be nicer without outlining now but because I have outlined it, all of the other trees I just gonna stick with that idea but I just wanted to say that I have one more with the big brush I think we should use the opportunity of the big brush because yeah because it will be just great to have the big brush uh, being used in this sort of way so let's have I have these sparkles I found them like I'm really using my stash now I'm trying to use my very old sequins that I um, gathered over the years and yeah use your glitter like I'm not gonna play with the glitter today now because I just I love glitter but I just don't have time to tidy up after glitter now honestly I know maybe it's like but I honestly I just don't feel like <laughs> having this tidy up for the glitter so I prefer the sequins right now because I just don't have energy for all the glittery stuff to be around me now maybe uh, if I'll like have a bit more time left I would have no problem but I just rather concentrate on having this video today for you without the actual glitter but I do believe that the glitter could add up such a lovely touch to these trees as well oh there is one more although these sequins are superly beautiful as well so look at this one I mean so simple like you can't go wrong with a tree like that there we go so this is with the big big brush this is so fun 
<laughs> let's try another one because I have one more idea uh, but we definitely need to load a lot of color a lot of color there we go mm -hmm. a little bit brighter as well because I love that actually color maybe I'm gonna grab a bit of this one actually for a change this one and then this one at the end so I'm thinking to grab my brush and I don't know I, <laughs> I didn't do that it's gonna be an experiment but go with like this exactly exactly I mean I'm just trying out but that's kind of what I was thinking let's see something like that I don't know if it's like a tree or more like a flower right now but let's just try it out let's just see so cute it's gonna be different and that's all good Um, I'll see if we can oh, I love this I mean seriously now we could do layer number two actually and I, I think I'm gonna do that haven't planned this because I was thinking that it's gonna be enough what we're doing right now but we could do like look like I could use different color though isn't it and going more towards inside there but do you know what it worked it actually worked oh there we go I could have done a better job differentiating the layers indeed and have this one more layer there look you can kind of try to fix it do you know what it actually looks very natural if you think about it it looks actually like a real <laughs> Christmas tree right now so it's fine I could have a differentiator but I can do that differentiation with my um, with my dra drawing uh, not drawing with the um, drawing tool but I just like it I think it's beautiful I could have done a bit of a better job with the coloring but that's okay um, it's a little less what I would have imagined in terms of um, but wait two seconds let me see maybe I can still do a little bit of that that kind of or I don't want to make it worse by the way <laughs> and I worry that I'm doing it worse now but oh well we can try it out something like that it's okay it's not bad maybe it was better b before I tried to rescue it let's dry it now because it's looking good maybe I'm gonna clean this one a bit more because it's very much pigmented compared to other but there we go it is pretty let's see let's see I have so much mess let's see how to outline this now I definitely need to dry this better because my pen won't work otherwise so now let's see is this working I'm trying to see this it does okay what it is so cute it's not perfect it's quite far from <laughs> that's okay if your tree doesn't look like a Christmas tree or it looks quirky or something that's okay look at it it's fine I love it I really do truly and I mean it and um, you know that if I don't like something I'll do say it and I like I would say what I don't like about this or that so I do like this one it's gonna have a tiny stem it oh look at it I, it's like, I mean it's gorgeous I, I mean it it looks so cute seriously it looks very much like in woods so that's like a huge plus of yeah I love that I'm thinking that the best nearly could be to actually use these white do I have this white like um I have I have it but I also have these white pastes. Let me see. I have some frosty pearl something. What is it? It's new. Is it? 
Is it new? Oh, No, it is. No. Ah, oh, look at it. And I also have this one. It's a very old one. Oh, it's... Okay, it's, got, it's not that old. It's maybe from last year or two years ago. Oh, such a pity. It is such a lovely snowflake paste. I don't think I have it year or two max. Ah, oh, come on. This one is from Prima. Both are from Prima. Such a pity. Oh, I need new. I need a new one. I do. <laughs> okay, well, shall we will use this one? Although this one is not as pasty as I thought it could be. But let me see. I had one more product that someone had suggested. Oh yeah, I have it. Cream paste. This one is from Stamperia. And oh, it it is like a snow. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a stencil. I bought this new stencil from Stamperia as well. And I'm going to jump in right with this stencil, not with this paste, because this one is a little too liquidy for my liking anyway. I'm going to grab this one. And what a mess is today. <laughs> I'm going to grab it and I'm going to just have this one. <gasps> it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeousness. Look at it. Let's see. Sorry, I hope it's in the right spot for you. Let's see. There we go. Maybe like this. So we have a few stars. Oh, oh wow. It's very... Oh, oh, no, don't break. It's very creamy. Oh, it is so cute already. I hope it's going to be cute looking when I'm done. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, if not the one that went like it's okay. I may just clean it off somehow. Am I able to like oh, fix this? Oh no, I can't. Can I? Let's see. Wait. Um, I'm gonna try to clean it off. This star. My stencil moved. Wait. Maybe I'm able to do so. Mm, wait. 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 Where's that? There we go. Maybe. No, I'm gonna make it worse, will I? I think so. Such a pity because it would be so perfect. Although we're not aiming for perfect, it would be just so cute if we could have this one. Oh, wait, it is happening slightly better. There we go, it is slightly better. Well, at least we have the other working. And looking gorgeous. Ah, probably could be even better if I just have this one completely off. And when everything is dry, I can try to redo this star. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. That's what I may do. Oh, I love that. I mean, seriously, it is so cute. Um, I'm going to see if I can have the star now. Or is it too early? Is it too crazy to put the star in there? Possibly too much, Marta. Um, let's see if we can... No, I need to dry this, Marta. You need to dry this, really. Seriously, you need to dry this, girl. <laughs> but I think it is looking forever gorgeous. I'm going to fix this one off camera, possibly show you in a minute. I'm going to clean the stencil. This is beautiful. My only thing is... How about grabbing some glitter and sticking some of that glitter on these stars so maybe it's gonna be nice and shiny. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It will be staying on that. Oh, that's so cute. I be back to you when this is a little bit more dry. Here it is. Here it is. And you know what? I'm not going to be fixing that star actually. It looks super pretty. I have to say that uh, the glitter went there, you, you don't really see anything. And I have to say as well that this um, Christmas tree, this tree in general, looks like a tree. Like it really looks realistic if you think about it, compared to uh, this one, for example, or even compared to this one. Like 
I'm taking it back when I thought that this tree is not that pretty. Last one, let's have a think of how we can actually make our last Christmas tree. I'm thinking that we didn't even do the regular shape size look of a Christmas tree, like a regular one, the one that we normally do from like triangle, triangle, <laughs> triangle. That would be probably too easy. Um, let's have a think. Okay, <laughs> let's do the last one. Let's do the last one. I think the last one is going to be the kind of more, how can I say, like just a regular Christmas tree. Just like, let's see. Just, I'm just going to paint. Just like, there we go. That's what I mean. Like, not very much thinking of the oops it went a little bit may maybe too much on the side that's okay we can move the whole tree <laughs> to the side oh there we go it's more on the side now so let's add a little bit of color why not let's see what happens <clears throat> There we go. Beautiful. So I'm just trying to have a bit of that irregular look, irregular play. It's beautiful. Love this. Two bits. And the big brush, I'm starting to like it, actually, you know? And I love my last tree, I think it's the best, you know why? Because it's the kind of more loosen up watercolor feel, no sort of, you know, it's working however it is, it is. It's gorgeous! I love it, I love it, I mean it, I love it. Okay. Let's have a little bit of that darker edges, kind of, in places. <clears throat> oh, love this. Wow. Now I know why I fell in love with the watercolors. <laughs> That's it. That kind of... That kind of way. Oh, I'm cleaning off my brush. You probably don't see it much, but I do. I'm gonna use my right... <laughs> my non-dominant hand just to clean it off a bit. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you my... <laughs> my tissue that I have been like cleaning off, cleaning off, cleaning off. Um, lastly, I'm gonna just add some some of this. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is my favorite now. Oh, I love you, tree. You're my favorite now. I'm gonna dry this and go come back. If I could leave this without outlining, I would, but because we do kind of outline it all, I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna be more of me style. There we go. Oh, I love it so much. Five. <laughs> um. I love this. I'm gonna try to make more trees like just to sort of have a feel for the watercolors itself. I think it's just gorgeousness. I love it. I really love it. Ah, now I'm thinking. It came to my mind just now. Why not? Black. 
Aww, this is actually so cute now. Oh wow, it's gonna be, it is my favorite of the season. <laughs> too cute, too cute. No, no red, no gold, just doodles and all. Wow, I love it. Is this your favorite too? Tell me. Is this your favorite too? I would love to hear from you. Let me clean the desk. Put all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards next to each other so you can see them all and I can see them all as well. Wow! We did it! Here they are, here they are, 10 different Christmas trees. Not only different from each other, but also different from my previous videos, which is super challenging. Now I know why I have never done this uh, video last year. It's been a challenge, a difficult one, to really think about ideas that the Christmas tree will be beautiful, looking like a Christmas tree, yet it's gonna be different from all the other ones that we've done so far. I think we nailed it, I think it's a phenomenal job I think it's an ultimate set plus let me grab those one two <laughs> three four five six and seven this is an ultimate set all of these are Christmas trees uh, that I have created so far in the last years I must say Wow, I'm impressed with my skills, with my, um, I think, uh, being brave in a way, especially with this set. It's a gorgeous set when you look at it. This is the only one that I'm kind of doubtful about. The rest I totally love. I think my favorite, I'm gonna surprise you because I think my favorite is gonna be this one. It's just so quirky. Such a kind of, um, these days, nowadays, like a kind of technical looking tree. I don't know. It Like, I love this one. I, no, I love them all. Honestly, I love them all. Mm, it's okay. <laughs> uh, my beautiful friends, I really hope that this video was inspirational and I really wish you to share this video with your friends. I'm pretty convinced that there's plenty of your friends and family members who may benefit from video like this. Easy, for beginners, and no pressure, no perfectionism, uh, minimum supplies. You really can do so much with your watercolors. Just be brave, be creative, think outside of the box. That's what I have done today. And I must say that uh, this was a great exercise as well that's another set of different sort of looking trees if you haven't seen this video please check it out uh, but these by far I'm, are my most favorite it is super pretty wow 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 and I'm fell in love back again into watercolors I wish you the same I really wish you to try it out to do some Christmas trees even if you make just Christmas trees without you know, coming up with these ideas of watercolor cards. Christmas tree is such a great, it's a happy holiday theme, no matter what. Christmas tree is great. So, without any further ado, my beautiful friends, I'm going to wrap up at that. Wishing you a lovely day, afternoon, evening, morning maybe, whenever you're watching, wherever you are in the world, because I know you have been seeing these videos from all ends of the world, and I'm so proud of it. We're nearly at the 300 mark. 300,000 mark on this channel. I'm already thinking about video that I'm gonna celebrate this mark whenever it's gonna happen because it's unbelievably crazy amount of people following this channel, following my journey. I'm so proud and actually a little bit sentimental I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Genie Mark did not plan this whatsoever. Okay, my friends, I'm going to wrap up a touch. Yes, wish me to grab this 300,000 so we can all celebrate maybe with a live stream together. That would be amazing, isn't it? Just before Christmas or after Christmas, in between New Year's and Christmas. Wouldn't that be just phenomenal to do a live, live um, celebration? Anyway, wow. <laughs> Christmas tree video and Martha getting emotional. You know, it's just um, when you think about it, how huge it is it's like crazy so yeah it's like it's really if you think about it it's like a a huge city i'd say <laughs> anyway my gorgeous beautiful egypt family thank you so much for watching for sharing videos for comments always being so supportive 
loving me and my family to bits. We do feel it and it means so much. Thank you to, to those who are new here to the channel. <laughs> you know, just to Marta, I do cry fr from time to time for no reason in the videos, getting emotional and all. But yes, I usually coming up with the videos that you are uh, able to enjoy and learn something from them. So. Uh, I'm saying goodbye in the last five minutes looking at the camera and I just cannot say it because I love you so much I just don't like saying goodbye because I know um, that it's it and I, I will miss you so yeah but I do have to go <laughs> I miss you already but I have to go till the next time happy painting and I'll chat to you very very soon I love you bye <laughs>